Hey everybody, it's Sean from How It's Done Outdoors. Thanks for tuning in. It is Sunday, January 6th, and I took a quick run up north to take a look at the carriage house project. Got to drop off a mixing valve for the contractor to give to the plumber. So let's take a look at where we're at. So for about the past week or so, they've been finishing up the roof line, uh, taking care of the, the trim work on the roof there. The electrician's been in. We figured out where we wanted to put our can lights underneath the roof line there. And on the front and the rear, overlooking the balcony. So we got all that sorted out. He had to run those wires and should have run it on the roof line as well. Uh, up in the TNG, so once we'll go upstairs, we'll take a look, see where we're at uh, in between the purlins up there. So far, it's looking real nice. So I have my cellular game cameras set up to help me keep track of what's going on during the week, and that's a real handy tool. So we got all, hopefully the windows will be in soon. We figured out what we were gonna do for that, finish, figured out our size and all the hardware for it. So hopefully that won't be long. Well, the secondary roof line looks like all that's in. I've been watching the guys work on that. Making some real good pro progress here. So hopefully we have, uh, they've started on some of the framework for interior on second floor. It's supposed to be framing in the bathroom, kitchen, and a walk-in closet. Other than that, discussed before this is going to be just an open floor plan on the second floor this is a little phase one cabin here not that by any means it's a small project Pretty good. Go inside and take a look, see what we've got in there. All right, so here we are inside the garage. Looks like we have nothing wired yet for the recessed lighting in here. And still gotta figure out, I'm not certain how they're going to manage putting in some of the uh, electrical outlets. This, this will be uh, obviously electric garage door openers. So I don't know if the opener ends up on a purlin or in between on the T and G. So waiting to see how they figure all that out. They went through and can of the spray foam and what I guess what they do instead of adding the backer rod in there uh, when you're uh, when they apply the chinking they find it works better with the log homes from their experience they add in the spray foam which also gets a little deeper in, be in between the logs and then that itself would act as the backer So they've uh, put up plenty of these homes, so I'm not gonna second guess the work. Yep, looks like we've 
Oh yeah, we've got framing. Wow, they've been busy. All right, let's go up and take a look. starting to see progress now. <laughs> All right, what have they got here? That's a go buys. That's roughly how we're doing it here. So, okay. So this here, framed out, this will be our walk-in closet. Uh, kitchen, right in here. So right in the center there, they still have to, uh, they'll be cutting out a kitchen window. Christian's recommendation to go with two rows of light for the kitchen. Wasn't going to second guess that. We had to widen it a little bit from the initial design because it just didn't leave enough in between there. And when I'm in the kitchen doing my work, I don't need anybody bumping into me. So that must have been a doozy right there. So we had to go through the double purlin up top to get the mounting plate there for the ceiling fan. So we'll just have one really big ceiling fan to, for the entire room here. This here will be the bathroom. Uh, we got the vent cut out. Okay, good. This will be the shower, just Glass door, tiled. Commode. And another window will be cut for right there. All right. That's what we've got so far. So, yeah, the plumber will be in Monday. Needed the valve for the shower system that we got so brought that up with me be dropping that off so yeah they've definitely made looks like a lot of progress very happy with where things are at right now and I'm sure they'll be much happier once they can Finish getting the roof done, get the insulation, get the metal roof on, get the windows in so it fully dried in so they can start heating this baby up a little bit better. All right, that's all for now. 